what slowly went away in the past decade that no one noticed. Actually owning items without a subscription. Here's a good one HIV AIDS deaths have fallen through the floor, partly due to improvements in medication, but also thanks to a Herculean effort by the international community in concert with major drug manufacturers, largely coordinated by PEPFAR. 3D logo designs have pretty much vanished. I don't know the exact time frame, but basically every single major company's logo has become minimalist over a very short period of time. Product reviews that is not an affiliate link. Car antennas. You know what I mean. Magazine shops. The ones that sold obscure magazines that you can't get at Walmart or the grocery store or even the big box bookstore. I suppose people have noticed, but no one has their phone with a ringtone anymore. It's mostly silent or for some purple still on vibrate. Good Google search results. So be. They're only available in specific places. I miss Pina Colada so be. Decent quality clothes at affordable prices. Color in public spaces. Everything is minimalist and gray now. In general, third spaces especially for like deans, I feel bad for them. Not too many indoor places you can just hang out without paying for something. Phone books. House phones. Recording horizontally on your phone instead of vertically. Finding a recipe online that doesn't involve the author's life story, author's bet's life story, and the author's bet's squeaky toy's life story, smiley face. Packages of disposable baby wet wipes that come in hard plastic containers instead of thin plastic baggy type containers. Frozen yogurt. Where the fuck is all the frozen yogurt? Privacy. Free articles almost everything is behind a paywall nowadays. Consequences for blatant lies. Insects. My car used to get covered with dead insects during the summer. Now, it's just one or two every so often. Lightning bugs, butterflies, moths flying around my porch light. They're all gone. iPods. Attention spans. Voicemail. Nobody bothers leaving one. I get about one-tenth the phone traffic I did a decade ago anyway, and people would rather text why they called now in lieu of a VM. Text don't call is one of millennials' greatest contributions to society. T9 texting proficiency. Why don't cars today come with spare wheels? What the f? Regular TVs. 90 of the ones you can buy from big box or online retailers are smart TVs. I just want a cheaper dumb TV that I can plug a Roku into. World War II veterans. Lightning bugs. Actual newspapers and coupons on Sundays. The rubber bands shaped like animals. Some kids used to throw them like slingshots, it could really hurt. Over 10 unique species and several hundred unique natural habitats. And that's probably a very conservative estimate. Trendy young women carrying around toy chihuahuas in oversized shoulder bags. 24-hour grocery shopping. Lobster tanks at grocery stores. Photoshopped. The reasonable confidence that when your light turns green, one or more assholes won't be blatantly running their red light. My hair. I don't know. I didn't notice it. The ability to buy a house as a young adult. Anything happening without a fucking algorithm. A semblance of unity in society about some significant issues. There used to be a general feeling that on some things, the country was broadly together. Now it seems like almost any topic is a cause of deep division. Not quite gone yet, but broadcast TV versus streaming. The color around us. Everything is now going gray, white or black. Colors are more dull looking. Any remote hope that regular people can retire. Being able to see the stars at night. I live in a small college town. 
I have to drive several miles to get far enough away from the light pollution to see anything. Accountability Malls Computers with CD drives